What is going on you guys, Bastion Wagio here and today we're going to be talking about the brand new OCG ban list that has just come out. We got some breaking news and that's why I got my microphone just like this. Yes, it is still wired, but it kind of has to be. So, uh, we got some amazing, amazing news coming out of the OCG right now. I actually just released about five hours ago from the time recording this video. I am recording this on a Sunday. Um, so essentially what's happening is that, like I said, we got the OCG ban list coming up. It's going to be applicable from January 1st. Now, the TCG ban is going to be coming out around the same time. So be on the lookout for any updates regarding that as well. As of now, however, we are going to be looking at the OCG ban list and how that might come into effect as far as TCG. Now first things first, we can all clearly see that Fusion Destiny has been banned. Clearly, Fusion Destiny is a much bigger problem with the fact that it gives you so much more advantage with uh, Celestial and Dasher, uh, with Destroy Phoenix Enforcer being absolutely ridiculous, uh, just to go ahead and recur itself each and every single turn, constantly pop a card on your opponent's board. So Fusion Destiny will now be banned in the OCG starting January 1st. Is this something that we could see coming to the TCG? I don't think it's something we're going to see anytime soon considering we just got this card. Um, we didn't get just Fusion Destiny, I'm talking about the Destroy Phoenix Enforcer. I think that it is an extremely powerful card, obviously uh, anyone watching this video would agree that it is a very powerful card uh celestial gives you a lot of advantage there's dasher in the graveyard as well amazing follow-up plays plus two it's basically it not only gets you a big monster that has interruption but also is a part of greed as well two for one combo however it may not take immediate effect in the tcg i do want to go ahead and iterate that this may be coming in the near future in the near future i'm talking about anywhere between three to the next uh, between three to six months not this mailing coming up in january it might go to two which really does nothing um but what i do see this doing is maybe in three months time maybe in the march or april ban list or maybe june july august time we might see something happening to this card i do not think it's gonna and something that we should overreact on immediately but i do see it as something that we should take into consideration consideration moving forward from here uh limited cards we have phantom knight of torn scale now i actually just played in a locals yesterday where uh, my opponent was playing phantom knight uh phantom knight ba i believe and yes i mean torn scale is an amazing card however do i see See phantom knight as being an unstoppable deck that you need to destroy uh, i mean limit or get rid of torn scale no a lot of decks have a uh, a card that they can abuse over and over and over again uh even utopia even trickstar which are you know decks that i like to play quite a bit uh virtual world has lulu and lily that they abuse you know ridiculously nyan nyan is abused um, however, I don't see Phantom Knight of Torn Scales as being something that is that much of a problem. Uh, I mean, it is it is an incredible card, don't get me wrong. However, I don't see it being ban worthy. To one, it, it balances out quite a bit so that if you, if it goes to the grave, you can DD Crow it. They might not be able to get it back. But then they can just uh, potentially, I think, bring it. They can bring it back with Levier. So it essentially, it just makes them gives them an extra step, but they can always bring it back. Uh, for a card like that, you either have to leave it at three or ban it essentially because putting it to one, they can always just recur. It's not really going to do too, too much. Now, Prank Kids, uh, Mew Mew has now been um, restricted to one. Sorry, I said restricted. And it's, <laughs> it's a little bit different uh, wording in the OCG webpage. Uh, so prank is Mew Mew again has been limited to one now in the OCG as it is here in the TCG Which is unfortunate because I am I do like the prank is deck quite a bit And it does affect this grind game quite a bit as we are seeing here in TCG However, the deck is still plenty viable as well as a proper tier 1.5 to 2 deck um, I have stopped playing it myself because I personally want decks that can grind a little bit better uh, but I digress. So Frank gets Mew Mew again put to one in the OCG. Pretty much copying what we were doing here in TCG as well. Next card is Killing Nominee, which is not the correct uh, translation. My uh, my webpage, I guess, translates it directly. Where it is actually, I believe, it is Crossout Designator has been limited. Now, Crossout Designator has seen a lot more success in the OCG than the TCG. 
as of right now at least um, I do not believe the card is ever gonna get touched in TCG at least as it is right now unless we get some crazy tier 0 format in which case that card can be used to uh, in the in all the mirror matches so as it is right now we haven't really had a tier 0 format a real tier 0 format since essentially since Zodiac was a thing me personally I don't think we'll have one anytime soon there hasn't been a consensus number one deck in a while, which is great and very healthy for the for the whole game overall. I think having diversity really helps us as a whole community. But uh, that's where I, d I don't really believe that uh, cross out designator is really going to be a big issue. Um, it really has fallen from grace from being uh, one of the most hyped cards ever. I think it, it was a bit overhyped. Even I myself overhyped it. Uh, so mistakes were made, but now we see that it is very it is very possible in the OCG. But like I said, OCG and TCG are two very different card games just because of the card pool that we have to play with. On to the semi-restricted cards, we have a the main one on here that I am seeing: Multi Faker, going from limited to semi-limited. We might see some more Altergeist uh, popularity rise in the future, especially in the TCG. With uh, all of the cards getting reprinted very, very recently, we might see the, uh, the Guys deck come back. We might see it uh, popularity in the OCG and might transfer some new strategies onto the TCG. So be on the lookout for that one as well. Uh, but for the more exciting cards, we got Skull Crowbat Joker to the Unlimited. So that's amazing. Uh, Soul Eating Over Raptor was semi limited in the OCG, but it has now come full force at three. Uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon to 3. Scapegoat at 3 is the most surprising one for me just because there's a very, very, very specific reason why they got rid of Scapegoat because it is a free, free rank 4 monster. So free Appaloosa, free, uh, what's it called? Borosaur Dragon, free Access Code Talker, everything. It is such a free card. It's an amazing card. I really wish this was happening in TCG just because I personally love Scapegoat. I love the fact that it became a very, very strong meta meta card. Um, but that's what we have for here in the TCG. It's currently still limited. Maybe we will see that change in the next ban list. I mean, the deck, I mean, not to get the deck, the, uh, the game has sped up quite significantly since Scapegoat was last limited. So maybe we can see it come back to two, hopefully to three in the near future. But that's again my personal opinion as far as TCG ban list. Like I said, I've said a million times before, I will continue saying it until it happens. I want Light Stage back to three. It's all I want so I can play, play my damn trick stars and I'll be happy. But. That's going to be it for the OCG balance, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. I want to go ahead and continue breaking down OCG, TCG meta, deck profiles, all type of things. Live duels are coming as long as my recordings stop crashing. So be on the lookout for those as well. And I will see y'all in the next one.